and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Captain Brunch. Uh, kind of taking a name, kind of like Captain Crunch for our deck. This is going to be a capture deck. It's meme tier day. Um, we're going with our, our deck name came from Captain Arika, being able to capture units and landmarks, and of course, Bayou Brunch, capturing other allies. Put them together, we got Captain Brunch. But we got a, a Tom Kench deck all about the capture, and we're so much about capture that every single card in in all of Legends of Runeterra that say the keyword capture on it, there's five of them. We're playing three of all of them. <laughs> so that's like, we're, like that's where the, the uh, deck starts, I guess. That's uh, pretty funny. Um, but they should all be pretty good. Um, you know, obviously Tom Kench is, whoops, is the, the champion that cares about capturing. Once you've captured three plus units, you level it up. Um, and of course, you're also creating these acquire tastes in hand that you want to be able to capture things. Now, of course, with the Acquire Taste, whatever you capture does strike your Tom Kench, and that's kind of annoying. So to try to help out against that, we are playing some Bright Seal Protectors to be able to give the Tom Kench Barrier. So you can give it the Barrier, and then you can take like a 5-5 five five or a 7-7 seven seven or whatever, and just go ahead and capture that and not worry about that damage to the Tom Kench because it goes to the Barrier. We also have Unyielding Spirits in here, where you try, where we can like Unyielding Spirit Tom Kench, then we don't ever have to worry about the damage that Tom Kench takes from the strikes from Acquire Taste for the rest of the game. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, but then besides that, you know, like we have our other things that are gonna be doing some capturing. We can even like capture our own stuff, right? Like we can detain, and uh, obviously the Bayou Brunch is gonna be capturing our own thing. But you know, we can like detain our own our own units and do some neat little tricks. Sprayfin's gonna be in here to find Bayou Brunch. That's what it's gonna be there for. Of course, it, it could draw single combat as well, but for the most part, we want Sprayfin to find Bayou Brunch to get us another good capture card, and then we can also have like our larger units. We can capture them onto like with Bayou Brunch. We can put their stats onto Zap Sprayfin and make a very large elusive. That's something that we could do. Um, let's see. We got Radiant Guardian, Remembrance. Um, these can give us some life steal things that can uh, have us stay alive for a while, and a couple redoubled Valor. Because it is mean tier day. This this card looks pretty cool. This this could be awesome with Tom Kench, where like let's say Tom Kench has like captured one or two things and now is like like a two two, right? It's taking like four damage. Um, then we could but we could cast redoubled valor, fully heal it back to a two six, and then double its power and health and now make it a four twelve and basically make it like really, really hard to kill. And and the importance of redoubled valor along with Remembrance and Unyielding Spirit. These are spells that cost six plus mana, and that's gonna allow us to create some detains with Mage Seeker Investigator. So those are important to have. All right, but that's that's kind of like the whole deck. Um, bunch of capturing, and uh, we'll see if we can do some uh, silly stuff with that with our deck, Captain Brunch. All right, so meme tier day, we're just gonna be playing in normal. All right, we got Zoe Vi. So Zoe Vi does play Hush, which Hush isn't necessarily the best thing for us to see. Okay. Um, but Zoe's gonna be kind of smaller, which is gonna be good for Tom Kench. But it takes us a long time before Tom Kench can swallow up a Zoe. Remembrance. I'm going to pass the turn. I think that's what we're going to do. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Mentor of the Stones. We're going to be making a whole bunch of gems. Next turn, we're looking at eight mana. Yes. 
So I think that they ha have... I think it's certainly a possibility they have Pale Cascade. And Acquired Taste, you can only swallow enemy units. I can't, I can't like, swallow my own units with Acquired Taste. My comestibles are getting cold. Magic has no place here. Yeah, so I, I'm going to be using... I think the best thing to do right now is just be using Detain. Um, so that costs 5 mana. I'll, I'll play this Mage Seeker Investigator for the other 3. See if they tap under. Um, you know, it's basically what we're worried about is like Bastion. And so I want to be able to cast 2 Detains. Like 1 this turn, and then if they Bastion, 1 next turn before damage. Cool. Not Bastion. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. I wonder if they're confused of like what happened there with the detain, thinking that it was gonna strike Tom Kench. Oh, I don't require menu. The time of machines is now. Is meow. I want to play this and, you know, have this thing created to tain. Cool. Haha! <laughs> they give up! They see another detain from us. I was going to win that game. It was going to take a while. Our deck's going to take a long time, but we we're going to win that game. I was going to do like some really cool stuff with like capturing our own things and everything too. Especially with the Bayou Brunch, but oh well. Yeah, <laughs> You found the players don't like playing against capture. Like with this deck, lots of concedes. You can see that. Um, yeah, especially, you know, like we're in normal and so you'll get some, some fast concedes sometimes like that. Uh, let's see, I like turn 3 Remembrance, and then the Sprayfin grabs a Bayou Brunch. Um, you know, like they are their own Tom Kench Ash deck, so they're going to be doing Frostbite and stuff. I could see single combat being a little worse against Frostbite. Um, maybe I just mulligan that Sprayfin, actually. Let's just... And though Sprayfin is like a decent turn 3 after Remembrance, I kind of want to find Tom Kench. Nothing escapes my watch. All right, so of course we'll play Remembrance next turn, which means the Investigator will create the Detain for us. This could be a pretty good Redoubled Valor matchup. Because I'm basically only worried about their Tom Kench right now. You know, that could change later. But right now, I'm basically just only worried about their Tom Kench. Winter take you. Cool. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I think so. Nothing to worry about. If you have nothing to hide. Swiftly now. Investigating. So it should be like Troll Chant probably, but you know, it'll... Okay, Brittle Steel. I'll have them play one of those cards. Stop My heart and sword for Demacia. Cool. Have them waste that mana. Don't need to attack. Adorosans, stand together. Do your worst. Fear is the first of many foes. I don't think they're doing no, like a plus two, plus zero anyway, right? I think that's a free block. 
is right. Strike now. Avarosa, guide me. Man, Ash is already leveled up. <laughs> wow. All right, who wants to capture Ash? I don't know. We'll do this thing. And of course, I'm using the detain that they know about, the one that the Mage Seeker created. Stay resolute. Fight out. If it's a fight they want, look out for Reavers. All right, I'll take it. More Frostbite cards out of their hands. And of course, this thing taking the damage isn't necessarily bad for me because I have the Redoubled Valor. They can heal it and everything. Magic has no place here. Okay, so yeah, you can capture your own things with Captain Arika. Cool, cool. It's fine to play Sprayfin, right? Yeah, I think it's fine to play Sprayfin. Tapping, like, tapping with Sprayfin means that, like, we're tapping under Dethane, but... Okay, cool. Worked out. Man, they... aren't doing a whole lot. What are they waiting on? Feel the rush? Ask me about Dragon Titus, may have an answer. All right, we got a 10 10. All right, there we go. 10 10 tough. I don't know what their hand was. They didn't really do a whole lot. Maybe it's just all frostbite cards, right? Like, just all frostbite cards don't do a whole lot by themselves. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting a lot faster games here in normal than, um, you know, like, whenever we're playing ranked. Because, like, yesterday, like, ranked, like, every single five-game video was, like, an hour and ten to an hour and twenty minutes. Here we're 15 minutes in. We've already played three games. If you capture a unit that's captured a unit, does the captured unit get, get released? Yes, it does. Yep. The, the first unit that was already captured is only captured for as long as the original unit is in play so once you capture that unit then the other one will get released all right what well, we got twisted swain twisted swain pretty good i should maybe keep the radiant guardian but i don't really want to keep multiple fives i am going to keep the garen because you know it's all championy and garen -y and stuff i like turn three remembrance Be nothing left when I'm done. so confident There'll just be nothing left. Love it. Tough card is like the best thing to hit against this uh, damage based deck. Because they can... Okay, good. They don't have Ravenous Flock. Because I was like going to say, like, even if they have like the best case scenario of like stunned Ravenous Flock, which would do 5 damage, which is pretty silly, it still wouldn't kill this thing. It would kill like any other card that we could have hit. See, I think Powder Keg should deal damage there. That They should <laughs> do 2 to those things. Um... I think we all know how this plays out. Are you here? I send you payment. I'll buy you some time. Never steal. Another nibble. I got a fifteen. I think the Tom Kench is going to be dying, but I think it's going to be pretty hard for me to keep the Tom Kench alive anyway. And so I, I don't really mind them using, like, the removal on the Tom Kench, make it better for, like, my Garen and my Vanguard Cavalry. Stuff like that. Yeah. 
one mana, deal five. If that's balanced, I don't... I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so Swain's at nine. Yeah, I mean, we got triple Garen, so he... I still have more Garens, even if they block and then kill Garen. I got more. I can also pass. Maybe I'll just do that. What's up, fishies? 23 months. We got two years of fishies. Love everybody's getting those high votes in the chat. Thank you, fishies. Third sub of the day. Just pass with all, all your mana. That's, I mean, that's probably a good pass for me. I think. But I also want to spend some mana, but like they, they waste all of their mana. Like, if they're passing here, that probably means their hand is looking like, you know, like maybe like two Leviathans and like some other removal spells. Go with the flow. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna play something. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna just waste my mana. Yeah, correct. Yeah, Croker Yeah, Croker's not a spell or a skill, so no, it doesn't. Um It doesn't actually use the barrel, but I I just think it should use the barrel. I'd be happy if it did. A little surprised it didn't do that originally. I'm something of an inspiring trichologist. Only three cards. For silver I talk, for gold I it. Still three cards. For justice, for Demacia. A conquest for empire. Hmm. So I can capture, or I could go. But obviously, like, if they ever kill my Garen, then they get their Leviathan back, so that's kind of bad. I could go, like, buy you brunch. The the fact they have those cards that, like, kill damage units is always really annoying. But I could go, like, buy you brunch plus single combat. I guess I could go redoubled valor single combat. I'm gonna do that. Let's redouble valor this thing. Yeah, I'm kind of scared of Scorched Earth and Noxian Guillotine. Those are a couple of cards I'm scared of. Still have detain right now. Huh. That'll do. So basically what was gonna happen right there is I was gonna kill all their stuff. Cause so my my card had five health and it had tough. And so the fervor was going to do two damage, to put it to three. The uh, the second fervor was going to do another two damage, to put it to one, and then it would still fight and still kill their swain. So basically, 
I was just about to trade my two cards for their five cards. All three of their units, their two Noxion Fervors, trade. And I, I could just do nothing there and just let that all trade. Redoubled Valor won that game. Yeah. How about Redoubled Valor? All right, go hard. I think this is maybe my first time playing against the go hard, like this specific go hard deck since the nerf. I th think. I'm not quite sure. Um, I I love Captain Erika Unyielding Spirited, but you know, like that's gonna take a long time. But I do really like Unyielding Spirit still. Um, it's just gonna take a while to get these cards. And like Bright Steel Protector being a three two. Let's mulligan these. I want to find like Remembrance and okay, cool. Egghead Researcher is good. Tom Kench on Yielding Spirit could be cool. Where do you stand on this is a very good Unyielding Spirit matchup if we can if we can get Unyielding Spirit to resolve. Because once we do, um, you know it's very good. I want to pass. They have the fleeting card. All right, so they burn their fleeting card to Pool Shark. I hope it's cool. It's a vengeance. That's good. Vengeance is good. All right, so now play the three two so it can block. We play in build so if I want to play Tom Kench on four and then on Yielding Spirit on five, that means I need to have three spell mana save this turn. So that means I do not get to play Egghead Researcher this turn to have three spell mana available. Yeah, they should not have played that Pool Shark on turn one. They just kind of wasted the value of Pool Shark. But I ain't mad at it. That was just like, they just wasted a Glimpse Beyond? Where there's a sure. Will, there's a meal. Thank you for the bits there, Kitty Dexterity. Alright, so they could still have Vengeance... But I, I really want to try this, right? Like, it's it's only Vengeance is the only card they could have. We already saw them burn one Vengeance. So, like, how many Vengeance do y'all think they're playing? Like, two? Maybe? Like, I don't think they're playing all three, right? So they're probably playing two. Yay! Alright. We got Unyielding Spirit, Tom Kench. So now, let's start blocking everything, saving our life total. Yeah, now basically I just gotta protect the life total. Alright, so we're down to 12. So six, so I think I'm gonna be trying to go wide. I'm sure there's something for my taste. I'm gonna play Egghead Researcher, Egghead Researcher, and Acquired Taste. It's my best defensive turn right now. Well, you've already got hot boiling. Yes, but not for I guess I can attack body. with this thing. We'll just eat up the spray fin. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. <laughs> Go hard is going to refer to Tom's tummy after this game is done. <laughs> It's too late now. Awesome, Mind Splitter. Oh, I don't require a menu. Oh, 
I'm always up for a round or two. Red card. Kill my egghead researcher so I can play Radiant Guardian. Come on, opponent. Kill the researcher. Allow me a small sample. Chomp. Well, you've already got the pot boiling. Yes, but not for you, army. Trick shot. So yeah, people in chat, Mind Splitter just started uh, streaming Rune Terror and stuff. You want to give Mind Splitter a follow? Uh, ben, a, a big viewer, supporter of the stream. What is this? Come back later. I want to take the least amount of damage possible, and I I want the one one to die. Justice will be served. Let us peruse this establishment fair. All right, let's see. Let's get Radiant Guardian attack in. The river always provides. Love drawing another unyielding spirit. I can unyielding spirit a Radiant Guardian. That sounds pretty sweet. Maybe it's Crumble. They, you know, they didn't have the other vent. You know, like, I feel like if they had Vengeance, they would have cast Vengeance. Then I would unyielding spirit in response. They could have Crumble or Ruination. I could see either of those. Yeah, Ruination. Let's go. Unyielding Spirit is good. You can't kill what will never die. <laughs> there we go, the opponent concedes. Unyielding Spirit. Okay, so we're currently 4-0 in normal with our deck. So that means anytime that we're 4-0 with the meme tier decks, we go take it over to ranked for the fifth game. Okay, gonna play against some burn. I think we've played against a bunch of like newer opponents or opponents that have conceded pretty easily. They they haven't put up like the most fight. Um, you know, like we haven't had the most resistance in these games. So they were uh, so I'm not sure if our deck's good enough for ranked against like a, a you know master's rank opponent really trying, but we're going to give it a good test. Okay, so I want Radiant Guardian and Fight Spells. Um, these things just can just kind of block, but I guess I'll keep Tom Kench, I guess. I don't know, I kind of need Radiant Guardian. I don't think this hand's going to do it. Like, Remembrance... Remembrance is like the other card, right? Like, I want, like, Remembrance... Radiant Guardian, Fight Spells. Okay, Egghead Researcher. Just chill out. It's at least a card I can play... You know, not on, you know, before turn four. Oh, they all right. Well, perfect hand for them. For the money turn one, urchin discard, flame chompers. Turn two, house spider. Turn three, draven with vision, and having the attack token. Turn one, turn three. That's a perfect hand. So we got ran over. GGS. I scrutinize something scrumptious. Something scrumptious. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings. Cool, and then turn four, Jinx. Yeah, this is just an, an actual perfect hand. Oh, I don't require a menu. Is 
it's me taking three and going to four. I know I could try to fight the house spider, but it's pretty likely that if I fight the house spider, my Tom Kench dies and then, and then they get their Jinx back. I want to kind of see if they do, maybe they do something else first. Maybe I can fight some other way. I guess I guess actually what I probably should be doing is having my 1-1 one, one block the 3-2 and then have my 1-1 one, one fight the 3-1. That's maybe what I should be doing. Why did they not just do that first? Why did they just play that and, ch and have that challenge? Perfect hand. All right, so we got ran over. Allow me a small save. Even if I had a Radiant Guardian, we would have been now dead before I could have even played a Radiant two. Guardian. Even with having like, you know, play two drop on two, two drop on three, four drop on four drop champion on four, and we would have been dead before I could have played a Radiant Guardian. Their hand was just perfect. All right, so that was uh, not necessarily the best games with the first four opponents not putting up a ton of resistance and then the fifth opponent just having the absolute perfect hand. So it didn't have like the super close, like long games, but it was still pretty interesting. Um, and I, I wish I could have like shown some more cool things we could do with the detains, because I think with detains and capturing a lot of time, you're going to be even like even like with this kind of detain, you're going to be capturing your own units like during blockers and then having like you like let's say you have like a you know like a garen and a spray fin you throw like your spray fin in front of something and then capture it to the garen and so then whenever your opponent uses removal on your garen your spray fin comes back and you get your summon again um you know you can just do a bunch of cool little things um you know like you can have your captain capture your own thing um yeah there's there's a lot of like cool little tricks you can do we didn't get to do that too much um, I was impressed with how we did. We did play against like two pretty decent uh, decks with like twi two two decent Twisted Fate decks though. Twisted Fate Swain and the Twisted Fate Go Hard deck. And so I was I was impressed with how our deck performed in both of those. Against the Swain deck, we got to use the Redoubled Valor and um, and that Redoubled Valor with the five five tough from the Remembrance was uh, really good. Like they didn't have another Scorched Earth or anything like that to take it down, and um, so that was pretty impressive. And then against the Go Hard deck, we got to Unyielding Spirit a couple of times. Unyielding Spirit, a Tom Kench, un and then Unyielding Spirit, a Radiant Guardian, and just had Unyielding Spirit win that game for us. So still got to do some pretty cool stuff with that. All right, but there we go. There's Captain Brunch. That's always fun to say. <laughs> Captain Brunch. There's uh, Captain Brunch. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed this capture um filled deck um if if so leave those comments let me know uh let me know um you know how you like the deck anything like that anything you want to change try it out yourself if uh if you've been looking for something a little different to play with tom kench than just uh playing it with soraka hopefully you enjoy the deck and uh hopefully like yeah all the detained stuff all right but that's all i got here for this one so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video